Hey everyone, it's remote learning and it's going to be fine. Nobody needs to stress. Okay, so what I did was I laid out all of remote learning into just three things to worry about, three types of assignments. A math assignment, a literature or reading assignment, and then a research project. And those are the only three things you need to be worried about. You'll have one math assignment, you'll have one reading assignment, and then you'll have a research project going on. Okay, so this is not that bad. Do not get stressed. I'm not going to make seven assignments per day, and I'm not going to collect 35 assignments per week. We're going to have ongoing projects that you will like and have a good time making. Okay, this is chapter one. Place value, multiplication, and expressions. It's not hard. Uh, we actually abbreviated it a little bit, made it a little bit shorter for remote learning. It's going to be great. Just uh, be flexible, and we'll make it through this. And for almost every lesson, I already have something on YouTube that teaches all the lessons. And I also have video study guides on YouTube right now that help you study for the tests. So we'll be using our workbooks, and uh, if you can watch a video and do that, you'll be fine. Uh, I'll also Zoom with you every day to help you do your homework, okay? On the right are some videos I shot with uh, GoAnimate and EB Hawks. Okay, these are a couple books we're going to do as a read aloud. So uh, we're going to read Wait to Hell Comes first. And then we'll read Deep, Dark, and Dangerous. And both of those books will take about two weeks, I'm sorry, nine weeks to read. And along the line, I'll make some assignments, but it's really fun. Both these books are very gr good for sixth, fifth grade and we'll have great discussions. I really want to try to do uh, a read aloud and we'll do that right after lunch on 1245. And uh, we'll get through like a chapter a day. And then we'll talk about the really, really great, mind-blowing book reports you'll make with this. I think you're really going to like it. Uh, no stress. Uh, on our YouTube channel, there's all kinds of uh, example projects. Okay, good news for you is that I've spent 22 years trying to get everything, every topic to fit together. So what I did here is I have uh, nine weeks worth of research, and it all has to do with space. So what I do, um, what I did is I have the nine books we're going to read for the nine weeks that is the first quarter. And in the blue on the right there, I have some research topics we're going to write about, and I will help with that. The bottom left has some supplemental articles that we'll read because not the book, all the books do cover every topic. For example. There uh, is a really great article on uh, what's called the pale blue dot, which is the first real photograph of our solar system taken by Voyager in 1990. And it shows how very small the planet Earth shows. It's, it's actually less than a pixel wide in our entire planet. Okay, and then on the right there in yellow, I have uh, our video supplements. And I'm going to make all of these available on our distance learning webpage, which does not require a uh, username and password. You could just pop on there and get it. This will be great. People love this stuff. Okay, basically, I'm showing uh, what I'm going to do every day and what you're going to do. I know sometimes if I'm not around, you're wondering, what is Mr. Canada doing right now? So I put uh, up a schedule to tell you what I'm going to do. Um, everyone's going to sign in at 9.15 to 9.45. I'm going to get you started on your day. Every single person is going to sign on. At 9.45, I'll want uh, team leaders, and I'll tell you who they are, uh, to establish their own Zoom meetings. And then everyone's going to pop into those Zoom meetings. And each team leader will send me an invitation. And what I want to do is show up for those meetings. I want you in those meetings. Okay, be in a meeting. Even if you're not 
you know, your individual worker, independent worker, pop into those meetings. It really helps to collaborate with your friends. So when I pop in there, I need to see you there. Okay. And then I will do that in half hour intervals until noon when we're going to take a lunch break. Hey, okay. Here's some things that might take you off guard, but I want you to work together for math. Check your answers with your friends. I know that may be different, or maybe it's not different for you, but I want you to check. I want to take grades on quizzes and tests, and I want to make sure you get your homework done. But check in with your friends. The best type of learning happens when you're doing it with a friend. So check with your friends. During these Zoom meetings, it's a perfect time for you to say something like, hey, what's number three? I've gotten many different answers. What did you get? I want those kind of discussions to go on. Uh, don't worry about it being cheating until I tell you it's a test or a quiz. Okay? So pop into those Zoom meetings, work with each other. Also during the um, morning, we will also be talking about our research project. Um, the research projects are pretty big, but uh, we'll have time to do that in the afternoon as well. Hey, okay, I will not read this whole thing to you. But what I really wanted to point out is that Zooming is strange. For some reason, it does stress people out. It's hard to read facial expressions. Um, people don't really act the same way they do in Zooms as they do if they were in person. But acknowledge that we're all kind of, we all get kind of tired of it. But just, you know, take these tips, uh, pop into those Zoom meetings. It's my job to be present for you if you need help, but it's your job to make sure that you're trying to get help and help each other. Okay, make sure you're on those Zooms. And I know it's they're kind of stressful, especially having a camera on your face the whole time. So uh, let's just be real supportive. And I acknowledge that it is kind of stressful to be in Zooms. Okay, this is the time of day I think everyone's gonna look forward to. I'm gonna do old fashioned read along Everyone will sign in after lunch into a Zoom. I'll send out invites. And what you do is you pop in, and I'll project the page that we're reading from Wait Till Helen Comes. Um, I have paper copies of Wait Till Helen Comes at school that you can pick up. Or if you wanted to download them to your Kindle or whatever device you're using, you could do that too. But a good old-fashioned read-along. And what I'm going to do is stop and have discussion with you as you go. And we'll learn all kinds of cool tricks. My wife is a published author, and she has taught me so many things about story structure, and I'll tell you all the secrets that authors use to make you want to turn that next page. It's going to help you see patterns and tricks that all authors use. I promise you're going to really like this. Another thing we're going to be doing during this time is talking about our research project. Our research project at first is going to be the solar system and space. So it's not just going to be the boring stuff that goes with uh, planets. It's just going to be everything about space from 1957 until this year and next year when the James Webb Space Telescope is launched into orbit. So we will cover lots of great stuff. Also during this time, we will be sharing student projects. There's just so much to talk about and so much to be excited about. Uh, you just need to check that YouTube channel of ours. There's 2,600 videos if you are super interested in what we're going to do, pop on to there. Our YouTube channel is World Ready Students. Okay, we're heading towards the end of the instructional day. Uh, I want to leave some time from 1.15 to 2 where I will talk to you about your research projects. And lots of you will be excited about sharing some of the things you're making. So I could sign over the Zoom to you and you could do a, a screen share. Also, group leaders will send out Zoom invites again. So uh, while I'm meeting with one group, two other groups will be meeting. So the, And I'll get an invitation and I'll pop into those groups too. Uh, just some other information on this page. Uh, I'm definitely going to have a quiz every Friday on the A to Z book that is on our website. And uh, I'll talk to you more about that. And the research projects are just great. 
your book report. You have some options, but I'm going to show you how to do something called SketchUp, which is 3D computer-aided modeling. It allows you to make a 3D computer um, diorama of what you're doing. You can create a whole town or a farm or a ghost uh, haunted house. It's just, it's amazing. You're going to love it. Hi, I won't read all this to you, but um, I just wanted to let you know what I'll be doing during this time. Um, I'm going to make myself available uh, and work with kids as needed, meaning some kids are going to be independent and they almost don't want me to bother them. So, uh, but for kids who really need me to help them, I like to meet in specific groups and whoever needs help, I'm going to give it to you. Also, I didn't want you to think I was taking the day off. I do have to respond to parent emails. I have to check people's work. There's some other things I'm going to be doing. Um, I will be sharing my uh, cell phone number uh, when we first meet, and then that way you could text things. I'm going to trust you and I guys not to abuse it. Just make sure your parents are the ones that are texting me. And then that way, uh, if your parents don't get home till like six or seven or eight, you can text me and nothing in fifth grade is worth losing sleep over. So let's not let anything in fifth grade, uh, especially homework, ruin your evening. Okay. One other thing I want to make a point of at lunchtime, and after school, you guys need to get away from a screen. I don't want you to, as soon as you're done with the schoolwork, is to do something else on a screen. Your brains need some screen-free screen, screen -free time. Get outside and play. Okay, I think I just about covered it. Let me just see what's left. Okay, this is a lot of information, but I already have a website set up that I had going last spring. So it's not on Schoology, and we'll make a transition to Schoology as we enter second quarter. But for right now, I have this website set up right here. It's on my left, wix.com slash GES training slash distance learning 2020. And I have, I'm starting to have everything posted. You'll have not just one week posted. I'm pretty sure I'm going to have nine weeks of stuff posted and we'll negotiate the uh, due dates for things, but they're very project oriented. And if something takes a little bit longer, it does. Um, I, I really care about grading projects, tests, and quizzes. I am not going to stress over a math homework that I give on Monday that I want done on Tuesday. I will start taking points off eventually for work completion, but I am not going to grade every problem on every math page. And you should be breathing a sigh of relief for that. That's going to help you. It's going to help me. What I will do is hold you accountable for tests, quizzes, and projects. Okay? We can go over the homework together in your Zooms. Okay. I have a ton of fun making these go animate videos. Uh, if you check my YouTube channel and you check the web page that we're using right now, which is wix.com slash G E S training slash distance learning 2020. I have I left up some example math videos I made last year. They're really fun. I dance in them. I have background music. I do stand-up comedy, and I animate your solutions. So uh, I have a really good time with that. I'm going to be making those for you guys every week. Uh, but here's one example, and you can check around on the YouTube channel for more. Okay, I got to wrap this video up. Here's another research project I set up. Uh, it's a video instruction, and it gives you all the guidelines and how to do one of the projects. And I will have this ready for you. Um, go ahead and watch it. It's funny. I even have a baby picture of myself somewhere in there. And plus, I disco dance. You're going to like it. So uh, give that a look. Um, tomorrow morning, I will email everyone the Wix. I'm sorry, not the Wix. I will email everyone uh, the Zoom login and invitation. So I'll do that around 9.05, so you can have it ready by 9.15, okay? And then everyone pops in, and I'll take attendance, and then we're really going to get started on things. I'm going to show you something really cool for a getting-to-know-you uh, experience, and then we're going to start moving through our day. Uh, I, 
don't stress. We're going to get to know each other and start some projects. And we're going to invent this as we go. I have nine weeks planned, but I've never done this remotely. But uh, last quarter, uh, my class was extremely successful. I have a lot of confidence in you guys. Okay, I will see you tomorrow.